Hello, my name is Matt Byers. I'm from Springfield, Missouri, where I attend Holy Trinity Parish. I'm going to be starting my propedeutic year this year at Kenrick Glennon Seminary in St. Louis. This summer I've been just doing a bit of traveling, enjoying the last bit of complete control over my schedule that I'm probably going to have for a while. I actually got to travel, I traveled out to Idaho for about a week just to spend time with some friends from school. So my discernment process, it got started in high school. My dad asked me about the idea, which sort of put the thought into my mind. I started reading the book To Save a Thousand Souls, which is a guide to discerning diocesan priesthood. I reached a chapter that it talked about the different characteristics of a priest, and I read through that list, and I looked at myself, and I thought, I don't really see many of these in myself. So that put me off the idea for a while. The next year, I started college. I attended the University of Alabama in Huntsville and I went to a Catholic campus ministry event there. Our chaplain was giving a talk, I can't remember the exact topic, but during the talk he used the phrase, God does not call the equipped, he equips the called. And that phrase really clicked with me, made me realize, wait a minute, if this is where God is calling me to go, he will help me be the man that he needs me to be. After that I started not, not immediately, but I started discerning I discerned, discerning more seriously the cult of the priesthood. Eventually I decided, okay, I'll, yes, this is, this is where I need to go. Then the next question was where? Because since I was down in Alabama, I could have attended seminary through the Diocese of Birmingham. But in the end, I decided to come back home to Springfield because I felt, I guess, I just felt a call to come back home, come back to where I came from. When it came to my discernment process, I think there were a couple factors that influenced me as I was thinking through, as thinking through, praying through everything. One of them was my dad and, well, my family in general and all the support that I got from them. The other was my experiences with the campus ministry down in down in Alabama. Just the friends that I made there and just their their joyful witness to the faith. And seeing them helped me help me to grow in my own faith, which helped me to listen better, I guess, in some ways, to what God was trying to call me to do. As I start seminary, I think what I'm most looking forward to is getting the opportunity to draw closer to Jesus, to learn more about him, and also in some ways to learn more about myself. Because in some ways when I think about it, the more that I know myself, the better that I'll be able to use that knowledge to serve him and to know how, how best to help other people. I guess if there was anything else that I would ask for uh, from the people of the diocese, it would be for prayers. There have been several experiences in my life that have shown me the importance and the reality and the power of prayer. So any and all prayers will be very much appreciated. And I thank you for them and know that all of you are in my prayers as well. Do you want to say bye?